What's going on guys? Today I'm back with another tutorial for you and we're going to talk about the draw slash scribble effect that is being used in a lot of music videos nowadays. And we're going to do a quick easy tutorial that can show you how to do it yourself. So if you just check out this video that I'm currently working on, you'll see the effect in use and you can kind of get a sense of what the different techniques you can do with this. So uh, check it out. All right guys, so thanks for checking out the effect and uh, we're gonna dive in and show you an example of one of these and how you can create it yourself. So here's a project and we're gonna use this effect here where we're sort of drawing on uh, the vest and giving it our own look throughout the piece. So you wanna go into your Premiere project and you want to have all everything laid out as your edit would normally be. And then you're gonna wanna find the chunk that you're gonna use right here and obviously this has my uh, my after effects clip on it but this is the chunk and you're going to want to highlight the parts that you're bringing in including the chunk of the actual audio that you're using the song and highlight those and right click and replace with after effects comp that'll bring your specific clip into after effects so that you can use it for this animation so come on into after effects i've got my clip the full clip goes into my um, broken up clip here with Everything I need, there's the full clip, but then in my linked composition, I've actually got the chunk of the clip I need and the chunk of the audio I need. And the audio is key because I can see with the waveform the various beats that I want to have my drawings hit on. So when you first open this, this will likely be closed. You'll go to your song in the comp layer, open it up, the audio you wanna have open and waveform you wanna have open. And this will let you see where your beats are hitting. Okay, so the first step in the process, you want to make sure you find your beat. So this is our first beat we want the song to hit on right here. So once I've found that spot where I wanna start drawing, I'll go into my actual clip, double click, double click on this actual layer. You need to be in layer mode, as you can see up here in order to draw on it. So once you're in, you'll go up to the brush tool, click on that, and it's gonna give you a circle, which is your drawing <clears throat> your paintbrush essentially. So on the right panel over here, you'll see everything that you need in order to uh, design what your paintbrush looks like. So you've got a number of sizes over on the right in the brushes tab. If you're not seeing brushes, you can go up to window brushes and open that up. You're also going to want your paint tab over here. So open up the paint in the window uh, drop down as well. So you've got your brushes, you've got your paint. First, you can design what you want your brush to look like. We'll say we want it to be about a nine, um, and we'll have hard edges, but you know, we can we can adjust a number of things. We got diameter, you can adjust your angle, which if you're using one of these angled brushes, um, that might have a different effect. You can see it moving over here. Roundness, just adjust you know, how linear or how round it is. Hardness, obviously the harder it is, it's gonna have fully uh, rough edges, whereas if it's lighter, it's gonna have more of a faded edge. There's also brush dynamics. If you have a pen, if you have a tablet that you can use a pen tool on, this brush dynamics can come into effect. The pen pressure, pen tilt, stylus wheel, these will adjust uh, how large the um, actual pen uh, diameter is as you're drawing. With the mouse, it's a little different, so you don't have to worry too much about this. Um, and then you've also got the ability to um, have the pen pressure affect a number of different options here. Now, finally, let's dive into the paint look. You can adjust your color here. So we'll go to white for our drawing. Uh, you can adjust your opacity and your flow. Your opacity obviously has to do with, if you can see it, if it is zero opacity, we see nothing. At a 60, we see a light. You can lightly see through that. Um, and then, of course, you've got your flow, which has to do with how the brush runs over each other. See how that's, you can actually see it affecting the layers behind it as you go over it. So, <clears throat> you've also got your opacity levels and your channels, and then there's duration, which is key for this, uh, for this effect. So with constant, if we paint 
that painting, I'm sorry about that, that painting will actually stay for every frame as we move on. We don't want that because what we want to do is we want to give it that look of changing, slightly changing look on each um, frame. So you see how this in our actual finish comp has a flicker to it? That's because on each frame we're drawing a new image. So instead of going with constant, you want to go to single frame. And this will give you, as you paint, you'll see here if we draw, the next frame is gone. And that's how the write on works, or I'm sorry, the uh, single frame. So let's go back. Let's make sure our opacity is 100. I'm gonna bring our flow down, I'm sorry, our flow up to 100. So now we just draw nice and crisp. And what you will essentially do is draw whatever design you wanna draw right over your, your video. So let's go with the highlighting of the vest. So I'll just sort of draw around the vest and go right around him. And then I'll hit page down to go to my next frame and just continue the highlight. Page down. And you're just gonna go right through your whole piece and stop whenever you feel that you want to, or you can stop on the next beat. So what you'll find is if I go back and check out my uh, waveform, and I wanna have this look until I get to this beat, I need to do however many frames that actually is. So I need to do one, two, three, four, and you know, you just count out however many frames you want. So let me speed along here so you can uh, see the look when it's finished. So here's the, the finished look. It's essentially gonna carry on. And then when I hit that beat, I fill it in and give it a new look. And you could really do anything you want. I mean, you could come in here and you could, you know, draw something in color around him. So you could make it red and have, you know, make sure you're in your layer to paint, have marks coming off of him. And just keep going page down to the next frame. And you'll see that it kind of has a cool flicker animation look and gives it real life. So when we go back and actually play, you actually see that happen. So really guys, that's all it is. That's all it takes. It's just a matter of your own creativity and your own uh, sort of designs for what your doodles might look like. But I hope that this tutorial helps in some way and you can, uh, and you can use it in your own projects, your own music videos, and really have, have some fun with it and make something awesome. So thanks for checking it out, guys. Please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll be back with more tutorials soon. Have a good one.